Benjamin Netanyahu's not officially prime minister-elect yet, but he's already making big plans. The final vote count expected by Friday. Israel's conservative bloc is projected to win 65 seats, giving Bibi a comfortable majority as he prepares to eject caretaker Prime Minister Yair Lapid from power. Here's the 73-year-old Netanyahu smiling from ear to ear on a morning walk Wednesday after Israeli voters sent a resounding message. Lapid, meantime, canceled plans to attend the UN climate conference in Egypt next week after Tuesday's poor showing. Netanyahu's Likud party faithful are still celebrating. Bibi is both a beloved and polarizing figure. Here's what some Israelis recovering from election fatigue are saying and a political analyst who says the left suffered a major blow. He's a good Bibi is, Bibi's amazing, okay? Some people don't like him. People don't like Trump, but his policies were great. He was respected in the world. So you got to put personalities aside. He's the best for Israel and the That's best right. for the United States. That's right. I personally uh, don't like the coup, but it's a democ democracy, and if they won, they won. The left-wing uh, uh, parties have uh, received a significant blow. For the past couple of decades, there's been a movement of many former left-wing voters to centrist parties, and the Israeli left has shrunk, and the nature of the leadership will have to change. Here's the timeline of what's next. Israeli media is reporting Bibi hopes to have a new Knesset speaker sworn in by November 15th. That's an extraordinarily fast first step. Coalition negotiations typically take weeks or longer. Israel's president has until November 16th to announce which party representative will get to form the next government. A ceremonial decision we know will be Netanyahu based on the vote. Bibi will then have 28 days to create cabinet roles with the possibility of a 14-day extension. With almost 100 percent of the votes in and a Netanyahu victory all but assured, Lapid is said to be readying his concession. The days are numbered for Israel's experimental left, right and Arab coalition government. If the sprint happens according to Bibi's plan, Netanyahu could return as prime minister in December.